Hey guys, welcome to a brand new week. I decided to film the beginning of the week in my dining area because I got the Christmas tree up. <laughs> so it's a nice background to have. <laughs> um, nothing really crazy happening this week because on the weekend I'm working late on both days. In fact, Sunday where I'm usually off early, I'm off at 9. So I couldn't plan anything for this week. So it's okay. Um, so far the week after, I have a birthday dinner with the girls. They're going to come here, we're going to chill out and have fun. And then a few days after that, probably the dinner with the guys. I don't know what the schedule is like, so I'll know by tomorrow that I can confirm everything and we're good to go. Because when it comes to December plans, I, my birthday is in the almost Christmas week. I like to plan ahead because everyone has Christmas plans of families. They definitely want to see people over the holidays. So that's why I try to like set a date and to go earlier so they can work around their busy schedules. Of course, I shouldn't be the first priority, but if I ask early enough, they'll probably be like, oh, no, I can't do that day. I already promised someone else that day, right? So it makes them easier for them and for me. But yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm just exploring the vlog right now, but then I got the remaining packages I ordered on Black Friday week. So I'm open them right now for you guys. <laughs> Instead of just do, doing a quick intro. Where is the... There go. I still can't find my box cutters, so that's funny. I got three packages. Um, I think I remember what they all are. This one here, let's see, let's see scissors. this one here should be, yes, the metal straws that I ordered. Because I have the plastic ones, and I do wash them well, it's just that over time they do get kind of nasty, and I have thrown a few of them out. I think metal ones are lots better, and I think this is like standard now, The they always... Uh, include the brushes to clean them with. So, I clean them a lot easier thanks to that. So, yes. Um, they are bendy and they've bent a little bit this way, but yeah, that's some metal straws. Because I'm not going to buy plastic straws around the house because I can definitely clean my own straws. <laughs> Alright, and then this one was like weird. First of all, it, Amazon didn't package it very well. It looks like it was open. It's either that or they, they just didn't tape it down really well. So hopefully whatever inside is not damaged, because if it is, I'm going to be complaining. It doesn't look like someone tried to get in, though, because I think it's just packaged poorly. But because of that, I'm more concerned, because what's in here is breakable. Unless Amazon packed it well. I'm literally stabbing the box of scissors right now. I forgot to tape the, the ends. I swear, if they're broken, I'm going to be so mad. First of all, I don't know why it's in a long box. It's not a poster. Ah, uh, okay, get why it's in the long box. So first thing, this <laughs> is basically random, is I always wanted to get this game because I love Cards Against Humanity. I guess it's very, it's just really big. It's, what do you mean? <laughs> It's basically, like, I guess, like, it's like, uh, Cards Against Humanity, but instead of filling in a blank space or a question, it's a picture, and you and you put, like, um, a meme in front of it. <laughs> so, lots of fun with that. I'm actually going to play with the girls on the 19th of my birthday, so it'll be lots of fun. And the other thing I got, this will come out nicely. Okay. Um... Please hold while I open this, because this seems complicated. Okay, got in. <laughs> and the uh, next thing I got were these, ooh, careful, I don't want to break these. Mason jar mugs. These are really, really cute. I've always wanted these, and they were on sale on Amazon. And I'm glad they packaged them well, because the box is falling apart. Look at that. So, yeah. They're a decent size. Um, I think it's... 490 milliliters or 500 milliliters, so basically a cup or so. They're not like the biggest, but they're also not small. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Okay, so basically, it's a mason jar that has a um, handle, no lid because I don't want the lids because it's just what's the point? <laughs> uh, and then it comes with a chalk front, I don't know if you can see it there, so that way I can write someone's name on it or whatever. So it's really cute. And I thought I would have to buy chalk or chalk pen, but. The supply at the chop. I was very, oh, very impressed.
think I had a semi-productive day. <laughs> so I woke up today, I slept in like crazy again. I'm still very tired. I think it's work. It's just kind of depressing. Nothing's too happening and it's customers are being bitches. So that kind of vibe. So I'm kind of tired and exhausted, so I slept in a bit. But again, I'm not too worried about messing up my sleep pattern because I'm not working until 2.30 tomorrow, so it's fine. I woke up, I uh, did three loads of laundry because all, all the days matched up for like white and stuff, so I had to do that. And then just relaxed. Um, I did edit a bit of OK Drama Time, because I wasn't going to all my days off, but I did. <laughs> and I just went out to buy, I picked up a few groceries, mainly some protein, didn't have anything to cook with. And yeah, I guess I'll do a grocery store haul. So I got some of this, again, pork belly meat, which is really good, I love it so much. Got some more beef slices. I got some milk because I don't drink milk as much these days because lactose kind of, I guess. Plus I need milk because I think mashed potatoes and stuff, I need milk. So that's why I buy always a small one like that so I don't waste it. And I bought more of these mochi things that I love. <laughs> they were on sale so I grabbed some of these. I put these in the freezer first before I completely forget about it and then milk. I still would like to clean up my freezer properly so I might do that later. What dropped? Oh. But yeah, I need to clean up my freezer. It's kind of messy in there. I'll do that maybe later. I'll put these proteins in the fridge. And then I grab some more lemon tea because these were on sale. The juice boxes were on sale yet again, which is kind of weird. It's like they don't want us to have any more, which is weird. The bottles are on sale. Great. And then for lunch today, I made extra rice. So if I decide to cook tonight, I'll have um, rice to pack lunch for tomorrow, which is perfect. perfect. Okay. I'm not hungry right now. I'm still kind of early, so I'm just gonna chill out for another 20 minutes or so. Okay, let me tell you the day I just had. <laughs> also, very lucky. So basically, the power went out at work, and we weren't sure when it was coming back on. So, <laughs> Kat and I had to stay behind to wait for a security guard, and then we can go home. And then luckily, the power went back on, one in for the mall closed, so we and Kat didn't have to stay. We closed normally and went home. What was funny is I purposely bought food to stick around with, so yeah. I bought a sandwich and some uh, popcorn chicken, so I have some popcorn chicken, I didn't eat it yet. Right now I'm just gonna make some instant noodles to go with it. I think it's a good combination, right? <laughs> Probably not, but we'll eat it like that. And then the funniest part of the story is that when the pile came back on, I was closing out the store, I got a call from the head office. Head office is like, hey, how long are you guys willing to wait for a security guard? And we're like, what's, what? Why, what's wrong? I was like, we can't get one. <laughs> So I was like, ooh, my heart sank a little bit, and I was like, ooh, that's not good. But at the same time, no, we're good. I was like, no, we're good. The power came back on. So, yeah, we're good. But could you imagine if the power didn't come back on? Me and Kat would have been there all night long because they couldn't get security guard. I don't know why. But they hide the van all of a sudden? I'm not sure. So, yeah, go home at a regular time, even earlier than usual. <laughs> and then I was going to be in the instant noodles, shower, and then I'll play some video games. Very easy work day. I'm sorry for the lack of content this week guys this has been a very long week and um, I was really tired after work usually so I didn't really feel like vlogging and there wasn't much going on which is okay because I have two days off coming out which is great but at the same time 
I didn't ask for it. And then what happens afterwards, I have seven days of work in a row. I hate the scheduling guidelines that my manager has to follow because it screws me over because she needs her days off because she wants to see her family for Christmas, which is totally fine. But, and then she was going to make sure I don't work seven days in a row, but because of the stupid scheduling guidelines that we have to follow for Christmas, she can't. And I know it's not her fault. So it's frustrating. So I work seven days in a row, even though I didn't request for anything. So it's kind of stupid. But at least next week, um, I'm doing some celebrations for my birthday early, I guess, 17th and 19th. A few days early because the week of Christmas, I'm very busy with work and I'm getting off late. So I just, I had to do it early or don't get to do it or see friends or celebrate anything. So I had to do that. Uh, today, I finished work at 9 and <laughs> I was walking back to, oh, trying to leave the mall, I'm walking back to my car and an asshole security guard stops me and goes, do you work in the mall? Well, obviously, because the mall's been closed for about two hours now. Who else would be in the mall? Workers. So I'm like, yeah, and then he has a judgy, doughty tone. He's like, really? Which the place? And I'm, of course, I tell him the place. And again, still doubting me. In my mind, why are you asking me if, A, I can't prove where I work because <laughs> I don't have to, B, why am I in the mall? <laughs> and three, even if I tell you where I work, like, how can I prove it to you? Because I'm nowhere near the place I was work. I was trying to walk back to my car. So his stopping me is redundant. I just find that security guards are pointless because I never feel safe with them around because they're kind of useless. <laughs> they're just there to help me call the cops, basically. <laughs> they're very useless unless they feel like they have the upper hand. The reason why he stopped me is because I was by myself and he's thinking, hey, this kid's not supposed to be here. I'm going to stop him. <laughs> and intimidate him. It's like, uh, no, I'm not gonna be intimidated because you're an idiot. <laughs> like, do your job properly and make me feel safe in the mall by, you know, making sure people wear masks. And half the time walking down the mall and no one's wearing a mask and security guards looking at them not doing anything because they're afraid of the confrontation, which is kind of funny. You're a security guard. So yeah, I didn't appreciate that and I told my manager, I'm like, hey, that happened. I need you to be a bitch to them, which she will because I I did not appreciate the tone. I'm like, I was being polite. I was not even doing anything. I was trying to go home. I have no indication where I was trying to stay in the mall and cause trouble. I laid my jacket on, my umbrella and my backpack. I was walking towards the exit. What else can I be doing? Going home. <laughs> Stupid asshole. <laughs> anyway, that might rant over. But yeah, that is my little rant for the week. But uh, yeah, hopefully next week's a little bit more exciting. I do apologize again, guys. But yeah, I'll see you all next week.